<laughs> What's doing, what brother? That? What was that? Brother Kev. Hey, what's going on? Long time no see. First car. What, did, what was your first car? My first car. And how old were you? I was 21, I think. My first car. That's when 21? I got, when I got my first car. Bro, 21. What were you doing from 18? I was... Hey, book, bro. Hey, <laughs> bike, bro. Foot Falcon. Just walking around, bro. That's what you do. <laughs> Up in Mackay, there's not, not, like, not far to go, so you just walk there. A Ford Fairlane, um, it was an old taxi. <laughs> it was an old taxi. It had the, uh, like, it, it didn't have the taxi sign on the top. It just had the screw there. And it was an old white one. And I still remember one, um, one night, bloody uh, me, Gerald, we went out. Like, we just went out, um, uh, one night just so have a look, yeah. Just have a look and um, jumped in this Ford Fairlane and the radio wasn't working so we had our phones blasting. <laughs> had our phone blasting and everything. And then um, like Big Show and that they come out as Josh well. Josh Josh McGuire yep. come out as well. And as we were going home he was like walking past and we were like too ashamed to jump in our car and we were like waiting and waiting and then he would like walk past and he seen us jump in there and he's like are you serious <laughs> kiss one kill one marry one petro seven deceiver aaron woods or david clemmer oh man i gotta sorry clemmer but i'm gonna kill you because <laughs> I, I i don't i can't see myself kissing him and i can't see myself marrying him and he'd dominate you too yeah i'm a little guy <laughs> I'll and just, he'd be aggressive, I reckon. He'd be really aggressive. Say, <laughs> so I would, I would kill Clamor, and then I'd probably kiss Woodsy because of his long hair. He was a little cuddly. Got, he and I mean, he's got like, he, you, you couldn't get mistaken with his long hair for a girl, like sort of thing. If you close your eyes, <laughs> pretend and he's put your hands. But in he's his got hair. a big beard. <laughs> you got big booty lips, say yeah, sure you. Booty lips, so <laughs> just point my lips out. <laughs> and then um, I'd marry Petro because he's just a he's just a gentleman. He is a gentleman. He's a gentleman. <laughs> and he'd just take care of me, provide for me whenever I'm in need. I reckon he'd just you know do all the right things by me. <laughs> he would he'd be so loyal to me. I, I can be, be your hero, hero baby. baby. <laughs> I, I can kiss, kiss away the pain. <laughs> pump up song. What's your pump up song before a game? Are you ready? This, this <laughs> yeah, this is the one. So this is your pump up song. This is my pump up song. <laughs> this is a great song though. Yeah, it's a pump up. up and everyone at school was like there's gonna be a fight there's gonna be a fight or even better like when you used to have a girlfriend and like oh, they're gonna patch up this <laughs> my first kiss was just oh man what was your first kiss yeah my first kiss was um in high school year nine year nine like my first proper like friend with a dude kiss. or a chick it was a girl uh, yeah. oh bro i'm just asking like okay, it's yeah. 2017 it's all right yeah yeah true it's all right, yeah. um it was a girl and I was going out with her and then um, everyone like just made a big deal out of it like oh Josh and, and such and such are going to kiss after, uh, after school make sure everyone's there uh. <laughs> so I was like getting nervous I'm trying to build up this courage to like kiss this girl in front of everybody and then um, it was at the front of uh, like the art like art class like, <laughs> and the teachers were look, looking out as well and like all the uh, other kids were like watching us, and I had one eye open. Like, yeah, I just wanted because I had to see like if she had eyes like closed. So she had eyes. So you so show us show the camera what your face looked like when you were kissing her. So this what happened. <laughs> Lean into Lean the camera, in, and I was like, <laughs> "What is your game day routine?" Uh, game day, I do a big poo. <laughs> bro, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Always, bro. Uh, right, as soon as you wake up. Bells, bro, straight up. Straight and why has it got to be big? Why can't it just be your normal poo? Oh, so, well, some, sometimes, you know, like we all can't have like little poos like yours. <laughs> Favourite back of all time? I'm going to have to say Big Cuz, Big Wendell. Wendell Sailor? Yeah, Wendell, yeah. Best forward of all time? Yeah, shame we're pig, without a doubt. Bro, Would you get take my, my breath away? away. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Duck, 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 duck. 
That's racist. Bro, I'm what? a fucking gangster. What do you mean? Let's say, what do you mean? Like, what are you saying? Duck because I'm black or? <laughs> Duck because they don't want to see a black guy. Bro, I wasn't even car. thinking about that, bro. This is a flash car. Bro, who's the best player in the game outside Thurston right now? James Malone is probably. Yeah, he's a gun, eh? He's a gun, yeah. He's on print, like being in Grand Ford at three different clubs. Yeah, Warriors, um, Sharkies, and Roosters. Roosters. Yeah. Yeah. Like he doesn't get the like enough props support. he deserves. Yeah, yeah. Props that he deserves. Yeah. You got fitness. You got your biggest day of the week. <coughs> What's your routine for that? I need to do a poo before I do fitness. Bro, one hundred percent. Why do you keep bringing up pooing? No, because there, there's been like a few incidents during preseason. Oh. Like, we've spoken about this where I've shit myself. <laughs> like I don't have the strongest. Like I can't really hold. You got a loose hole. You got a loose hole, bro. Guilty. Oh man. If anyone knows me, like when I was at the Bronx, bruh, I used to do heads in at training because I used to get so nervous before <laughs> fitness. I used to talk myself out of it and I used to be like walk around training going, oh, fuck this, fuck, I don't want to do this, fuck, shit, like it's going to be so tough. And Gerald and some of the boys would be like, shut the fuck up, oh, be quiet. Because like, I know it's going to be tough and like I'm making it worse by just going, fuck, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Who's the hardest player you've ever played against? We come up against Melbourne and I was marking up on Will Chambers and he's probably the toughest bloke that I've ever had to mark up on. He's um, oh, really? strong, quick. Good footwork. Um, good footwork, uh, good defence, just all around centre. Just, um, you know, I'm hoping to see him get a crack this year in Origin. Um, yeah, hopefully. he'll probably get his spot back. Yeah, Queensland so, are really loyal. Yeah, so hopefully he, he, you know, he gets another crack. So he's, yeah, he's probably the toughest bloke that I've ever had to mark up on. You can scrap to it. Yeah, I remember that as a there's a little YouTube clip. Um, did you get punched? Yeah, Aquila you you are take. Yeah. So I I ran like because before. Did you throw anything? Yeah, bro, it was the worst punch in I my didn't, life. Yeah, I didn't even I know. Didn't see you. I only learned to throw a punch when I was like 23 or 22, bro. I swear really? to God. I didn't know. I'd never throw, never been taught how to throw a punch. But the reason why that Orange Origin game, when it was that big fight against Jared Hayne, Queensland versus New South Wales, is the night before Gordon Tallis come in and. We were had like a Queensland meeting, <laughs> and he goes, "You eat." He goes, "No one push or pull. You either throw a punch or you get out." So everyone in the Queensland side <laughs> was so ready to run rumble. Like everyone was ready. So as soon as it kicked off, Jared Hayne and Kieran Lander, everyone just came flying in. So I come flying in. I hit a back row, and he hit me. And Did then you like, get <laughs> nah. Oh, 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 can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> so I, right. So I um I yeah I got hit by the, the second row. I hit him, and then like I was like running around with my head chop, chopped off, trying to find like someone I guess fight or whatever. Even though I didn't know how to fight, and then Aquila Uate like comes after me, comes chasing me, and he puts his hand on. And I was like, he had another dude behind him that was massive. I was like, man, stuff this. They're so much bigger than me. So I just like got my head pushed a few times, pretended to be tough, and then yeah. pretty much catered it. What is your game day routine? First thing I do, I wake up. Um, I'll get the girls breakfast. I'll make them breakfast, um, and then I'll have a shower. Probably do a little bit of stretching. Um, In the shower? Uh, no, not the shower. <laughs> on the toilet, and then. Um, We'll just probably go out for a bit with the kids, take them to the park or something, then come home, a bit of lunch, and then um, like the girls are having a nap, and then I'll just probably sit down and watch a movie, and um, just chill, just wait to the game, and then um, like before the game, I'll get to the grounds and put my bag down, I'll have a shower, like before, because I always like to like have a shower, like after a drive, like after I like, get to the stadium, yep. have a shower, and then get strapped, Get a bit of a like, massage rub down, and then um, and then start like thinking about my job.